Hey, what's up, guys? Little Tiny Mouse Free here. My voice just went when I done that. That is the best intro I have ever done before. Okay, so today I want to. I've been wanting to do this for a while, which is I actually want. I like reading different stories to my brothers, especially mine and Taolina's. Her dog is there. <laughs> um. Actually, I don't think I've added uh, the other one to... Oh no, wait, yeah, I did. Called Darkest Secrets. It... Oh, I like it quite a lot. So, I'm basically going to like read it to you and all that, because some things are actually quite hard to actually like say <laughs> because of their names. And others don't know how to pronounce them. And just because I really want to read this to everyone. <laughs> like, I can hardly even say the... Let's just get into it. Sorry if, like, I don't know. I pause halfway through every sentence. It, I do that quite a lot. It's stuttering. Because I'm shy. Um... I've actually hurt my leg. I pulled a muscle in my um, knee um, this morning. I woke up and I, can't, I was going to go out, but I can't anymore. So, yeah, I'm going to pause the video quickly to get a drink because I'm dying of thirst. And I will be right back. Okay, guys, see you. And I am back. Okay. It's called Darkest Secret or Secrets. <laughs> I don't know what it is anymore. <laughs> I I just got it. Yeah, gosh. And um, it's mine and my BFF, Kalina. Um, I said her name really weird, but I don't care. Okay. A mutant. That's what she was. Everyone laughed, not caring about the scars they're giving her. They don't care at all about her at all. All I say is mutant freak. No one will be your friend. Or you should just leave this world. To tell the fox hedgehog thing. And sometimes she wished she wasn't alive anymore. Until one day when... Hi, my real name, well, like anyone care, is Samantha Melissa Prower Hedgehog. But my family call me Talina. I have long blue hair with natural black streaks. And I have two tails, like my slightly older brother, Miles. But with light blue tips, tips on the end of them. My older brother, Sonic, well, he says I'm like him in a way. I can run at the speed of sound and have the same powers as him. When he first said that to me, I thought he didn't have any powers. And I didn't believe him until one day when a group of humans tried to bully me. Sonic had gotten away and pushed him against the wall. They started pointing, pointing, poking and laughing at me. I noticed Sonic had gotten away from them until bang. Lots of what I thought were gunshots hit the humans and killed them, leaving pools of blood on the f on the floor. Looking down, it was hard to tell who and what that sound was until I looked up. Sonic was standing there. He had the purple energy balls in his hand, wondering if there were more of them. But that didn't scare me. What did was his big... I don't know if there's dragon or dog on I don't know. <laughs> like wings on his back and also his voice when he spoke it was more demonic should have left her alone the next thing i know he he turns back to normal and the girl comes up behind me i turn around i saw her she was a human but with dragon wings like my bro i just had a lot smaller i heard gunshots so i wanted to see what happened are you all right she spoke she then grasped, gasped, just noticing my, my tail swinging up and down. I returned with an answer. Yes, I'm fine now, thanks to my brother here. Sonic started walking next to me and looked at the girl. He looked like he was studying her to make sure she was no damage. What's your name? He said, still studying her. Well, my name is Isabella, but you can, can call me Izzy. My brother spoke. I'm Sonic and this is my little sister, Talina. The three of us went to the next calf and we were all quiet until I asked Izzy, Izzy, do you have any friends at all? She looked up from her cup and replied, 
No, everyone thinks I'm a freak because of my wings. I realised as she said, as soon as she said that, we had something in common. I don't either, but because I have two towers and I'm a hybrid. I can tell you're a hybrid. Fox and Hedgehog, right? We ended up talking for hours before Sonic said we should go home. I waved at Izzy and she walked away, waving back. Samantha promised me one thing. Sonic said, I looked at him and I promise you will never say anything about me. I was so confused when he said that, but I promised anyway. And me and Izzy became best friends eight years later. Isabella's point of view. This is part two, by the way, guys. My part. Hi, my name is Isabella Cassidy Enderborn, the seventh of the Endercone, and this is how I return to my brother Rivian. Well, I would say it's a nice meeting, but I'd be lying to you. And one thing before you you read on, the tears on Ender heal many things, but cannot heal a broken heart. Why can't I see her? She's more of a sister than you you'll ever be my brother. I yell at my brother, knowing that he was shocked at his outburst. She's a hybrid and the same kind that killed our father. Rivian sternly looked my, into my eyes. They were flaring. Talon understands me. At least I walk out and slam the door in his face. I don't care what you say, Rivian. Talon was there for me. You never were. I ran to tears in my eyes and into the forest where Talon lived, only to be knocked aside. My eyes fade into darkness. A darkness like none other. A darkness into the darkest secrets. Woo! That was in stories. <laughs> A couple of hours later. Talina's point of view. I was just hanging upside down on a tree branch when Izzy came over, looking very angry. I bet she had a fight with her brother again. Hey Izzy, what's wrong? Rivian. Why I'm always right about stuff. You're a mind reader, that's why. Oh shoot. I fell yet again out of the tree. Once I got up, I saw Sonic standing there laughing. Now I know who used their powers to make me fall. Izzy laughed. Izzy did laugh when I got up, but I can't yell at Sonic when she's otherwise... Never mind. Sonic came over to us and asked, How are you doing today, Isabella? I'm fine now, thanks, but you shouldn't... You should... But shouldn't you be hanging out with your friends? Izzy asked, smirking like the Mad Hatter. Yeah, but they... They are all busy visiting their parents, I said, looking down. What about you two? Aren't you going to visit yours? We can't. They're very busy, Sonic replied before I, I could, but I think there's a reason he's not telling me. After an hour or so, Izzy left to go sit by the nearby lake outside mine and Sonic's. Remember Sammy? Don't tell her anything about my past, okay? I replied to my brother with a nod and went over Izzy. Before I could reach her, I felt lightheaded and back into the darkness and saw a figure, a blue hedgehog with large dragon wings and I saw someone in a lab coat. Is that my brother with a scientist? Is this his darkest secret? He doesn't want to tell me and Izzy about. So I'm only going to read you for three parts because I'm going to make you wait for more. Oh, you can read it yourself. Me. <laughs> um, so yeah. I will see you all later. I've got nothing to do because I've hurt my thing. Apart from I can show you some of my work. So I'm actually going to show you some of my drawings. You probably don't want to see this because I'm probably worrying you. But you know, there's some cute things in here. <laughs> that was for my friend Lucia Hart. Two, three, four, three. Nah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it was her. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Lucia. This video goes out to you. Yep. <laughs> I done that one. <laughs> okay, so me and Talina were doing like this story thing on like, over text messages, and it started like um, Talina turned into a little cat, and like she jumps on it, her head, and I drew a picture of it because like, hey Tally, get this weapon. Yep, I get it. Always with the kiss. Sorry, you know what I'm like. Yeah, always so cheery, thank you. Yay, so glad. How about yeah, always so cheery for life. If you don't know what that means. Look it up. Totally. <laughs> um, so yeah. Electra. I drew Electra because um most of you don't actually know who Electra is, but she is uh, my first ever story was called Clouded Defeat. And there was and it's about wolves, but like human wolves. And um this is like the start of it, look. When Electra starts to see she was changing, she goes to her one best friend, a wild wolf she found who could talk. People thought she was going mad, but Blue taught her, and now she's becoming one of them. 
Electra is like the electric one, and um, Blue, that's one of the one. Their name. She's a blue wolf. <laughs> There's Blue. Um, yeah, that's in her human form. She went. I didn't draw Rivian as a kitten. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> it's so cute, though. <laughs> I couldn't resist. It was amazing, though. <laughs> oh god. Oh look, here's the wolves. Da -da -da. That one's blue. That one there. She's a little thing there. That one's Electra. She wears a coat. That's what that is. Um, Sky. I like Sky's design the most. I think. And Flame. I still like Sky's design the most. So yeah. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but <laughs> um, I. If you don't know, I ship um, Ridge Sounds, like hardcore. <laughs> hardcore, fine girl, of Ridge Sounds, sorry guys. <laughs> and I wrote a story for it called um, Death by the Admins. And it actually ends up that Ridge Dog actually dies in the end of it, which was quite sad because it was leading on from my other one, uh, Mortals and Immortals, that's it. I'll read it to you, it has violence and gore in it. Yeah, but it's really sad. Like, I had to do it because it was like, um, all of the other stories, because he actually dies, but it's never explained, so I explained it here. Um, this is Death by the Admins, which sounds short. Um, the admin stood in front of me, glaring at me. One held her spear to my head before she grabbed me. You have corrupted my brother. The girl had midnight blue hair and brown eyes. Now you will die because of it, she charged me. I raised my arm to protect myself when a bright golden light fills the air. There he was, floating lightly above the ground. Leave her alone, he growled at the blue-haired girl. She looked shocked, but she... The girl started. I said, leave her alone, he growled. The girl charged at him. Her My eyes widened as he was shot across the field. I'll kill you then, brother. The blue-haired girl charged again and before I could do anything she stabbed in the heart. Blood trickled down his chest and the girl rose and disappeared. I gasped and ran over to one I love. No, I whimpered. He put his hand to my cheek. Stay strong, he managed to say as he coughed blood. No, I won't let you die. I felt my tears right on my, fa my face. Lana, he can help you. He shook his head. No, look after this world for me. I'll be watching you. He tried replying, his voice weak. I love you, Nana. Was his last words. No, no, no! Tears were flowing, flowing from my eyes. I put my head my head to his chest. Ridge, why? So yeah, I really liked writing that because I'm like a hardcore shipper of it. I don't know why. It's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fangirling. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I done a contest. I drew it. Clementine, that one. Um, cyan versus blue. So that's cyan, that's blue. This was like further on in the story, but um, blue saw her sister run towards her, towel flicking in anger. Blue, you betrayed us. Cyan howled at her in anger. Blue spat out her sister. Do I care? Cyan ran at blue, but blue dodged and managed to miss Cyan's bite. So yeah, this is basically good stories. I done as optimals, but no one wants them. Sad face. I didn't do anything with no, don't look at that. <laughs> um, I learned adoptable I got. I learned adoptable patch that no one wants. <laughs> Lol. Um, so yeah, this video is going to come to a close right here. So I will see you all later. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Tell us what you want. Um, this has been Girls Crafted Mouse on her own. Because she goes on forever alone. And you know, lonely. No. It's only because it's holidays and no one seems to want to record apart from me. Because I'm now I'm stuck inside and can't do anything. I'm talking really fast because I really want to finish this episode. Bye guys. Love you. <laughs> Peace out.